Hey everyone, as you can see, people here are having a great time, but we're not here to make you jealous and want you to play ping pong. No, we're here to give you some real information. So what I did today is I talked to Mahesh about the big announcement that Stephen Herod made during his keynote for the vCenter Operations Management Suite. So let's look at that interview and have a bit of more information and a live demo and show you what it can do. Hey Mahesh, can you tell us a little bit more about the big announcement that Steve Herod made during his keynote about the vCenter Operations Suite? Sure, Jeremy. Uh, so vCenter Operations is a product that, uh, as Steve uh, noted, uh, we are, uh, we've announced at VMware in uh, Europe um, this week and it's an exciting product from, from multiple standpoints. This is um, an area where customers have been asking us to um, uh, provide uh, much better capabilities than we have today for a long time now when we finally uh, have put together a very exciting product that um, really will uh, go a long way in helping customers as they grow the size of their virtual environments and build clouds. So vCenter operations fundamentally takes out the guesswork out of managing the operations in a vSphere environment. And it does so uh, in by providing uh, analytics and information, and specifically uh, from three particular perspectives. So the, the three things that customers are concerned with in managing the operations uh, of their environment are, uh, is everything okay right now? And when we call that health. We call that, that notion of answering, is everything okay, uh, health. And then the other question customers uh, want to know, answer is, uh, am I heading into trouble? So if everything, if everything is okay right now, do I need to be worried about impending or lurking problems that I may be having to face uh, shortly? And so we call that risk. And then the third question uh, that customers are concerned with is, am I optimizing my environment? Meaning, am I optimizing the utilization of my environment? And we call that efficiency. I recognize those questions from all my customers that I speak to, and it seems like a very simple way of showing the health, the risk, and the efficiency of the environment. Could you show us a little bit more in a live demo? Oh, absolutely. Uh, so what I'm showing you here is the dashboard of the product. Um, so as you come into the dashboard, what you'll see is your vCenter environment organized along um, health, risk, and efficiency elements in the dashboard, and for each set of element, uh, data centers, clusters, hosts, and VMs, uh, vCenter Operations gives you a health, risk, and efficiency score. So, so what uh, vCenter Operations is telling you is, uh, giving you as a starting point is, here's my data centers, here's my clusters, and ESX, uh, hosts, and VMs, and for each of these elements, it's giving you a score that is calculated based on the data that it collects from vCenter and the analytics that it continuously performs uh, to estimate and quantify um, these areas. So, um, so from uh, starting with the top level dashboard, you can look at, um, you'll get an instant visual uh, picture of um, uh, whether there are certain elements in environment that need more attention. So in this case, you see there are two VMs here that are red, which means that they are, either they're, in this case, their capacity um, uh, metrics uh, are not quite uh, where they need to be. And so you could instantly simply double click on each, uh, any of these elements here and drill down into more detail. So in this case, uh, what, I, what we drilled down to uh, is an ESX host that uh, was shown to be in bad health. And, and instantly you can see um, all of the, the details associated uh, with that ESX host um, and specific indicators or metrics uh, that caused it to, to be classified as, uh, as being in bad health. In, in a drill down view, vCenter Operations not only gives you a picture of that particular element, but also gives you a picture of what its uh, related elements look like, particularly the VMs that are living on it, how the VMs on it, on that particular um, uh, host are faring, um, as well as uh, so that you can get a sense of sensory impact, meaning if this particular host has gone bad, uh, either because uh, it's run out of CPU or its um, storage um, path has been uh, uh, disconnected, what the impact is on the, the virtual machines that are depending on that host, so uh, they're running on that host. So you can then immediately escalate it to the appropriate team That's and try right. to get the uh, the issue solved. That's right. So it's not just giving you an assessment of each individual element, but it's also giving you a sense of the impact of what other elements are going to be impacted by that issue. So, so here we see that um, this particular host um, health is, is poor because it's uh, constrained on disk I.O. So it's disk I.O. latencies are not uh, where they need to be. And, and I should point out here a very important aspect of recent operations is that the notion of what's normal is a very challenging one. And the innovative approach that VC operations has taken is that it performs um, uh, some innovative patented analytics to determine 
in a very intelligent way what normal is, not just in an absolute sense, but in a relative sense, meaning relative to time of the day, day of the week. So, so for example, let's say it's typical for uh, IO latency to be high from 9 to 10 uh, because everybody's logging in at the same time and they come into work. These center operations analytics picks up that as a cycle and so it won't unnecessarily alert you and tell you that you're off your normal thresholds because it knows at that time of the day it's IO latency do uh, end up being high. So, so when it tells you that something is out of normal, it really means that something is out of normal. So if you get an alert, you know that something is really going wrong right. and you don't have all the noise that you normally have, That's where right. you maybe get 200 emails a day right. saying something's wrong, but it's That's actually normal That's behavior. Right. All that noise has been filtered out, has been analyzed, and you know, recent operation boils it all down to, if there's an issue to worry about, I'll let you know, otherwise just... Great. Well, that sounds like it's really taking management to the next step, predicting the future, but actually making sure we're not getting any false positives. So, Mahesh, I think we've run out of time, and I want to thank you very, very much for, uh, for giving us this demo. Thank and you. Um, we hope you all download the evaluation version. So that should give you a good overview of what's happening in your infrastructure. But when you're running virtual desktops, it's important that you know a little bit more about what's happening to the desktops. So I went over to the VC Ops for View guys and asked them what that product can do for you. Hey everyone, you probably heard all the announcement about View and vCenter operations for View. Uh, and actually, we want to get more into the, the depths of it. And we're here at the, the stand for vCenter operations for View. And I would like to hear more about this tech preview. So could you show me a little bit more about it, Jesse? Sure. One of the biggest challenges for organizations who manage and deploy PDI environments is to understand in real time what are the performance problems. A view environment is very complex because it's beyond just the vSphere component. It has network, it has storage, it has several types of networks, back-end network, network to the client. And then you can access your VDI for your client. Uh, uh, could be anything, tablet, iPhone, network, net app, and so on. So the issue is how to understand in real time that you have a problem, or better yet, how to avoid having a problem in the first place by the user not having to call. So let's take a look at how we do that. In this example, we have the total VDI environment described in several few icons. And under the cover, we have vCenter operations working and analyzing all the data coming from the different silos and understanding the normal behavior and detecting anom anomalies and then can translate that into health scores. In this case, we can see that the storage health score is very low. Why is that? Well, we also got an alert that tells us there's an issue with the storage. So as we drill down into the alert, we can see that the alert is telling us that this is an early warning type alert, which typically means that the alert was issued before there was any user impact. The alert will tell us what exactly is the impact and the impact on the other components of the VDI environment, and eventually it will tell us what is the root cause. And as we look at the root cause, we can see that the culprit, the issue that we have at hand here, is that there is storage bottleneck that causes degradation in performance. So what is the reason for that? Well, this is the aha moment. Actually what happened, this graph shows us the number of VMs which were, which were provisioned, which is basically the same as the number of users who logged in. You just see a small increase from 47 to 50 users. One would say, what's the big deal? Well, those three users added enough more load and enough more bottleneck that the storage component now cannot handle the total of 50 users. And that's really the issue here. It's impossible to detect something like that with normal tools, and that's why VC Ops can shine and show you that very easily. Now remember, the degradation hasn't yet occurred from the user perspective. So the operations team has time to actually react to deal with this before any user impact is occurring. Thank you very much. And I mean, a difference from three VMs, I've seen many more differences in my customers. So make sure you check out this tech preview and uh, learn how this can help you in your VDI environment. Oh, that was very close. But if you watch the last two interviews that I did, you know exactly how to manage and monitor your environment. So if you want to try it out at home, please go to the download links below and download the eval version.